In Stavanger, it all started with food, as it does everywhere. Every settlement, every community, every civilization was founded after posing the same question. What's the food situation like around here? Well, around Stavanger, an important part of the answer was swimming along the coastline. For centuries, we've been catching, eating, salting, smoking, barreling, canning, marketing and selling fish from the clear, cold waters off the west coast. And until the 1960s, if you ask someone in another country what sprung to mind when they heard the name Stavanger, most often the answer would have been herring or sardines. And although we're not exporting as much canned fish as we used to, a big part of our food culture still revolves around what our fjords, pots and nets have to offer. We love seafood, so we harvest it, farm it, research it, refine it, cook it and eat it in a thousand different ways. But a city can't live off the ocean alone. Fortunately, the soil has always been fertile here. Compared to the rest of the country, the climate is mild and the rain is almost constant. Our rich farmland has earned our region the nickname Norway's Pantry. 90% of the country's tomatoes are grown here, in addition to a big part of Norway's supply of cucumbers, carrots and potatoes. Thousands of lambs and sheep spend the summer grazing on our mountains. A few lucky ones get to live on our islands and islets. The seaweed and grass they eat here is salty from the sea spray and intensifies the flavour of the meat. Stavanger's high production of fresh food makes our region a natural place for businesses big and small to convert and refine our ingredients transforming them into award-winning delicacies and national brands. Our growing community of food professionals can rely on support from our Centre for Food Science, located right next to the university. There's also a wine school in Stavanger, as well as various courses, classes and activity centres for everyone who wants to learn more about food or hone their skills within their profession. In fact, the high level of competency and professionalism in Stavanger's food and beverage community attracts culinary talent from other places. Our many restaurants employ a wide array of servers, cooks, chefs and sommeliers from all over the world. And with this much talent walking around, it's no wonder we have the country's highest rate of Michelin stars per capita. However, in Stavanger, good food is for everyone. Forbes magazine recently named us Norway's top foodie destination, and you don't earn a title like that by appealing to a select few. We believe inclusiveness is one of the reasons why our annual food and beverage festivals have become so popular. The biggest festival, by far, is Glamard Festivalen, which pretty much takes over the city centre for four days during the summer. There's also Den Spiesliga Bifest, a food festival with a relaxed vibe that takes place on Stavanger's east side every summer, as well as the annual wine festival every spring. There's a lot going on in Stavanger these days. Our international business community is thriving. The regional population is growing and the job market is optimistic. And while it's flattering that we're now known as the energy capital of Norway, sometimes it's worth reminding both ourselves and others it all started with food.